Hello everybody and welcome to this club guy video for the mountain tournament uh, and I'm going to go over in this video uh, which clubs that I do feel uh, beforehand is going to be the best for the specific holes. The, videos, the video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic so let's uh, go. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, be a sub for more and daily content and when it comes to this club guide that is um general club guide for the tournament so ne necessarily it's not going to be exactly the same clubs you're going to use but i'm going to describe why i'm picking the clubs that i do have assigned here and sometimes we can use other clubs that gives us uh, a, a bit better stats especially if we have them leveled up in a diff uh, in a in a specific level so have that in mind if you do want me or anyone else in the team to take a look at the golf bag that you have yourself to pinpoint uh, for you specifically then you can sign up for that package on patreon or just make a comment and we will be there to help you out so rookie division first and foremost you cannot practice any of the holes except for the sakura hills in the regular tour play so hole number one hole number two and hole number six you can find on tour number three the asia pacific when it comes to the other six holes you cannot find them in the regular tour play and then i do suggest that you watch some videos from your favorite content creator and go from there hole number one sakura hills part four i'm having the big topper and also the thorn i understand that the big topper might not going to be uh, unlocked uh, for you if you play in rookie division sometimes but if you do have it play with it because the top spin there is going to help you big time to take you uh, pretty close towards the pin there you're most likely going to play with a short iron then the thorn is going to be the club for me you can also play with a hornet of course that is down to personal preference easy par 4 to start with I would almost say that depending on the wind we almost need to get an eagle on that one or at least we need to take ourselves to the green and make a safe birdie otherwise we're going to lose a stroke uh, com like compared to what our opponent is having hole number two a sniper and and sorry a sniper or the big dog depends on how we're going to play this one and what type of level we do have on the clubs i would suggest for rookie in general to have the big dog as the sniper most likely won't be upgraded that high the viper is out of the question because it doesn't have any top spin and that is why i'm not suggesting that big dog going to give us distance and it's going to cover uh, ourselves if we do need to lay up before the bunker on uh, in the beginning there hole number three we do have the backbone and the goliath as suggestions here and then of course you can't play with both so you have to choose either you play with a backbone then you need to play with a power two or power three ball especially if you do have headwind otherwise you're going to be in between clubs otherwise the goliath has more distance which would let you play with a Marlin, with a basic ball, uh, or maybe a Navigator as has a power one and don't have a problem to be within uh, in between clubs. Hole number four, then we do have the Viper here. Here, and this is a, frankly a, one of the easier holes in my opinion in terms of that we don't have to pick any specific club, we can pick whatever club, we're still going to, if we make the drive on fairway, we're still going to have distance enough with the Viper uh, and also Big Dog, Sniper, whatever wood club we want to go with. Then the Viper is the most common club for players to play in Rookie, then we're going to go with that one. Hole number five, here we're going to go with the Big Dog, a long par five, to be able to at least uh, secure, uh, what can I say, to be able to at least secure the, the birdie then we're going to play with the big dog to have the distance we will uh, not what can i say we will not be able to go for the green in two here I, almost impossible in rookie here you can if you do have the big topper upgraded uh, then you can play with a big topper for the drive and then go with a power fireball try to bounce over the rough on the beginning that's going to be very very tough and it's definitely not going to be something that will take you to the green two anyway Hole number six, the backbone, we do want to play with the long end that gives us the best accuracy in ball guide. This is one of the easier par threes that we do have in game. And then the course has been slightly changed. It's not that easy to make a hole in one as it was before, but still going to be pretty, pretty easy here. 
Hole number seven, Viper and the Thorn. Uh, if we do want to lay up short, we're going to play with a Viper. If we're going to go long and then go for the pin by near the water on top, then we're going to play with backspin, then the Thorn is going to be applied. Hole number eight, Viper here, we'll go for the rough bump. Viper is going to be the club that we do have the best accuracy and ball guideline with most of the time. Sure, if you do have, a, have an upgraded sniper and play a uh, rookie, uh, with that club then go with the sniper instead of the viper hole number nine the big dog long par five again to be able to read for the green in two without having any trouble especially when we play with level lower level clubs the big dog is crucial in my opinion so there we do have rookie division i'm going to go to pro and expert and pro and expert do play uh, plays from the same t so that is why i have them in the same section and of course, depending on the wind, the clubs is going to change slightly, and of course, the level of the clubs is going to uh, change slightly how we're going to play the holes as well, and which club we're going to use. You can practice all the holes on tour number eight, the mountain tour. So, hole number one, Thorn and the Saturn. The reason I want to go with those two clubs is that I do want to be able to bounce directly on the green with my approach. Uh, towards the pin instead of having the Goliath which most likely not going to have the backspin enough uh, if you're not having it to level se uh, seven, 6, 7 or 8 then we're not going to have the backspin enough to go straight at the pin so the Thorn Saturn for that uh, hole Sniper Big Dog or the Cataclysm here for hole number 5 the reason I'm having the Sniper here is that if you do have an upgraded Sniper and would you have some cha uh, would you have some we're gonna say crosswind and tailwind for our drive, but we still decide to lay up short, then we're going to be able to use the wind and play with the sniper from distance. Or we play with the big dog or the cataclysm if we do have headwind, so we can lie, lay up on the short and then go for the pin from distance with a good amount of distance of our club. If we can reach over the rough and the bunker, then we can play with whatever wood or long iron that we do have because we can approach the pin Anyway, hole number three, Guardian or the Sniper. Personal preference here, I will go with the Sniper. Give me better ball guy and accuracy. But Guardian is definitely going to be good as well. Especially if we do have some a lower level Sniper. Uh, like let's say we have a Sniper level 6, level 7 and a Guardian level 3, level 4. Then I would might choose the Guardian instead. So the level uh, is going to decide that big time. Hole number four, Sniper uh, or the Guardian here as well. Same thing here, if I do have a sniper level 8 plus, then I'm going to go with the sniper otherwise. If I have the guardian around level 4, level 5, um, then I'm going to choose that over a sniper level 6, 7. Hole 5, then we do need distance here as well. As for rookie, as for master, big dog and cataclysm, uh, choose the one that has the most distance combined with topspin and power. Hole number six, the sniper. We need ball guide accuracy here and even though I would be having a lower level sniper, we do have a better a better ball guide and accuracy than we do have on the guardian. So then the sniper is going to be it. Hole number seven, backspin uh, here for this one as well. Uh, Saturn and the thorn in our bag. Sure, we're going to play with a wood club as well and then we're going to have the sniper in our bag if we do want to line up short. So we're either going to try to go as close to the top as possible, go with a backspin approach or we're going to lay up short and we're going to play with the sniper from distance. If we do get the win for it, then we're going to try for the go, go for green in, in two, but then we need to have an upgraded driver with enough top spin. Hole number eight, we're going to have uh, the sniper here. And uh, here we're going to, again, we're going to use the ball guideline and accuracy. Have in mind the elevation uh, adjustment here for this one. And if you want to know the elevation adjustment a little bit better, check out the text guides that, can f that you can find in the description down below. Hole number nine. Uh, here we do need distance. Uh, again, Big Dog and the Cataclysm give us the most uh, yards to work with. And then it's going to definitely help us for the second shot. Last but not least, we're going to play Master. And here you can only practice the holes uh, 7, 8 and 9, the Glen Monarch Estate on tour and number 12 from the 30. And the other holes uh, you will either have to go from experience for playing them before in tournaments or you check videos so, and you go in and practice day number 1. Hole number 1, 
Uh, Thorn is Saturn the same thing as it was for Pro and Expert. We do want to go directly on the green to get one single bounce towards the pin. A lot of Tailwind we can go green on this one. I hope we don't get that because then it's going to be the luck of the bounce if we're going to get it to the green or we're going to go in the water. Hole number two, uh, Big Dog uh, or the Cataclysm. Here I do value my choice from having to lay up before the bunker because if we have to lay up then we do need distance then the big dog and the catacly is going to be the suggestion because if we do bounce over the rough and the bunker then we are not going to play with a wood club at any time then we're going to play with a long iron and then we're going to play with a goliath so that's why i'm not suggesting sniper at any time because the only reason we're going to lay up before the uh, before the rough and the bunker is if we would be having like a strong crosswind or we're go, uh, going to have headwind tailwind going to go over and then the sniper is not going to be applied there either hole number three the, ba the guardian or the rocket if we do have headwind i'm going to play with the rocket and go uh, go directly on the green and use a backspin approach uh, max backspin with my rocket if i do have it at level 10 and guardian is going to be applied as well with tailwind we can go with the same approach but using max backspin with the guardian instead bounce on the fringe and then bounce it into the right to, so we stay away from the rough and the bunker on the on the right hole number four is sniper or the guardian personal preference here i would go with the sniper myself but i know there is a lot of guardian uh, guardian players as well then you can choose the guardian of course for this approach as well hole number five distance important big dog or the cataclysm use the one that you have the be uh, best upgrade with uh, if you do have the cataclysm level four plus then it should always be the cataclysm if you have it in a lower level and you have the big dog level seven level eight then the big dog could be applied hole number six guardian or the rocket here i would play sorry the quarterback or the rocket i would play with the quarterback uh, when I'm going to bounce, but I know there is players that do want to go with more backspin go closer to the green And just make sure that I'm going to stay on the green Then the rock is going to be a good club there But for accuracy and ball guide to be able to bounce over the bunker there in a good way Then the quarterback is going to be a very good club for that hole number seven uh, Thorn and the Saturn want to pack the bag with a lot of backspin easy for us as the pin stands short hole number eight uh, sniper or the cataclysm it depends on what type of wind we're going to have here. 13, we're going to have, when we play with a power 3 ball and we do have crosswind or tailwind, then I would almost say that the cataclysm is going to be the better club to go with there because then we can aim closer to the rough on the top. Sniper is not going to be possible to do so if we're not having like a, a power 4 ball or something like that. Or we're not having like massive tailwind, then it could be a sniper approach. Headwind, we're going to play with a driver and then we play the driver on the left side and we're going to play that one with either a quarterback or we're going to play with a rocket. Hole number nine, uh, distance here as well, uh, tough part five, especially with some headwind, but Big Dog and the Cataclysm is going to be the clubs here, uh, clubs to choose between here. The same type of reference, Cataclysm level four plus, then I'm going to go with the Cataclysm, otherwise the Big Dog if I have it in level seven or level eight. So... Here is the club guy video for the mountain tournament rookie, pro and expert and master. Please let me know if you do have any questions about the club selections. I will be happy to help you out with your suggestions. Check out patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. We are seven, seven players uh, away of signing up from Patreon for starting the monthly giveaway on Patreon. Looking forward to that big time. So check it out training sessions and also to get the text guys before everyone else and you can find in the video description down below you can find a link to the text guides for the mountain tournament thanks a lot for watching the video is sponsored by golf clash of palladiumic good luck in the mountain tournament